we uh we we've had a cat day in the house um so at some point during the day grady decided um to he he crawled in under the covers in the bed on sarah's side of the bed and puked up so much like enough volume to equal the size of his head that's how much it just bloom and he did it under the covers so it was i didn't see it i couldn't see it because it was all sneaky so when sarah went to start to go into bed tonight she's going to make up the bed and she pulls oh, it back no. and there's just this pile of cat puke sitting right there little nice. shit head not great little Ooh, la, la. Night head. And he just live on the air a few minutes ago. You folks didn't see it, but I'm all live on the air. He climbs over me and jams his head into my glass of water. Happy as you please, live on the air. I had to go and dump it out and get more water. He has water. He's just a night bull. But he doesn't have your water. <sighs> Peggy doesn't like it when I eat food. And like I, I know I could lose I, I know I need to lose a few pounds, but Peggy doesn't like it when I eat food at all. She's like, no, mom, you're fat. Night. You need to stop. So anytime I have food, Peggy decides that she needs to be petted and cuddled right then. And that the best place to do that is in between me and the food. <laughs> Grady does the same thing while I'm trying to use my flight stick. Like, no, don't play the video game. It's bad for you. Pet so apparently, Pe Peggy just thinks I'm a fat ass. Night. It's like, stop eating food. Well, we, we still got a baby in the bathroom. She's coming along. Yeah, I saw she's she's moved from the shelf to the sink. Yes, very exciting. <laughs> and uh, I mean, she's been she she comes down off the shelf when we're not in the room but if we're in the room she doesn't come down off the shelf so we have a motion sensor camera on her and i noticed like it hadn't detected motion in like an hour but she wasn't on her shelf hmm. so i was like where's the cat so i opened the door and she's in the sink like well maybe what? she I'm, figured I'm, out I'm, the I'm allowed i'm allowed to be here well maybe she maybe she figured out the camera is what happened she's like maybe because the camera can't see into the sink where we have it we have it up really high because she's living on that top shelf. It's learning. So uh, she's also, she talks to the other cats through the door. They take turns coming up and sniffing the door and she talks to them and Simba talks back. And so they probably are telling her. Shit. Oh. Um, so it is, it is international women's day. And uh, for those of you, Night holes who are on YouTube. I don't know why you're watching us, but uh, the other one's in November. Look it up. Shut Night. up now. Google is free. Yeah, it is. Every night here. Shit, just get out of the way. Um, and coincidentally, and you can do the same thing if you're the kind of night hole that thinks it's funny to wear orange on St. Patrick's Day. You can yeah. also Google that because there's a day for you to do that too. Well, um, being that it's International Women's Day, that's our first story is going to... Let's get the intro going, because our first story this week is... Somebody thought they was funny! Oh, is it a social media person who thought it they were funny? It is a social media. Each week, Catherine, ready to that dead air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And yes, our first story is... Okay, have you ever watched Mad Men? Not consistently, but I've seen a few episodes. One of the, the elements of Mad Men is that Don Draper consistently comes up with these ad campaigns that are confrontational and turn things on their heads, and it's supposed to be brilliant and bold. and, and yeah. He's like the original edgelord. Well, somebody at, at Burger King, somebody in their ad department, thought they was Don Draper. And it did not go well. This greeted, this came out from the Burger King UK, for some reason, account, which also wasn't helping considering that Meghan Markle and... Yeah, and UK's having a bit of a day as it is. Especially with royalty. Uh, yeah. The Burger King UK account tweeted the following, which has since been deleted...
that's that's the tweet there. That's Now, what happened after that was the reply was, now that I've got your attention, so few right. you know, women belong if they want to, but only 20% of chefs are women, blah, blah. Well, we're making a scholarship. And it, it went further. They, they took out, you can delete a tweet, even though it's still going to stay around. But the Monday print edition of the New York Times. Oh, no, really? They took out a full page ad <sighs> that said... Very large women belong in the kitchen. Now, there is a disparity. Women, like most professional chefs are men. Right. Which right. is fucking ironic. Right. Because they're like, go make me a sandwich. But if you want to get paid for it, you better have a penis. Like, it's ironic as fuck that most like high paid professional chefs are men. And I think that's what they were going for. Like, we want to get women into that but market. But... but they made it worse, though. Their way, their solution was they were setting up a scholarship for their female employees to God, I hate that word these days um, to to, you know, learn more in a culinary program. They were setting up two scholarships two worth twenty five thousand dollars, like two for the whole company, two for the whole company. <laughs> <laughs> I know Burger King has more than 50 grand. <laughs> I know you have that money. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> Someone on Twitter was like, it's international say nice things about women day, which is true because everybody, it's like black history month. Every, yeah. every fucking brand during black history yeah. month is like black people. Yeah. And then March rolls around and they're like, what? Yeah. What? We, Oreo. Trans people exist. We hear you. We got our initial tweet we wrong and we're sorry. Our aim is to draw attention. Well, too fucking bad. Because all right, here's you the thing. Mean, you got attention. Oh look, they they only just deleted it because I have an earlier copy of the uh of the story. Let me bring it over here so you can see it. There's the tweet. There it is. It has it, I haven't refreshed the page yet, so there's the tweet. Um Here's the thing about Twitter and threads on Twitter and replies on Twitter. Um, what happens is you will tweet something and then reply to it and reply to it. And you'll make a thread and that, that'll be a thing. But then what someone else will do is they will pick one tweet from that thread and they'll do something called a quote tweet, yep. which will just have your tweet in it. None of the replies and their commentary on that tweet. And you know what people... And there'll be a little link that says show this thread. But... No, nobody ever clicks it. No. Nobody reads the replies on Twitter. I proved that today. I was even talking about it. I, I mentioned, I, I like wrote a tweet that said nobody reads the replies on Twitter. And somebody came back and said, yeah, but you know about then the replies. And I, you didn't even fucking read the reply. I made it minutes ago. And you didn't any, even... Like, any given day, I'll tweet a thing and get five of the same reply. Mm -hmm. because, so I know nobody reads the replies, and they're and they're like, but no, they they did the right thing. They were just trying to get your attention. You are not Don fucking Draper. Yeah. Also, Don Draper was a piece of shit. He was. He was a massive a great, piece of shit. Not a great role model. He was a massive piece of shit. Be more Peggy. My like, God damn it. Yeah, I just, mm -hmm. you got to shock him. So yeah, somebody, somebody ain't got a job tonight. Like, like I, like somebody is not like that, that great idea. Now fucking Burger King is dealing with all this bullshit. Yeah. Which they probably didn't. I, yeah, it's, do you know how rare it is? We have to cover stories here from the Washington goddamn post. I know that's like a legitimate source. Well, here's Just a bad day for regular British monarchy and burger British monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let, I know we had more brand nonsense. OK, so Chuck E. Cheese went under and a bankrupt. I don't know if they're coming back after the pandemic or not. I don't know if they're doing the brand. But for the longest time on this show, Chuck E. Cheese had been if you wanted to throw down with a motherfucker, if you wanted to beat somebody's ass. 
You got your kids. You got in the car. You let them go play and, and eat pizza and watch the animatronic mouse and play the, the ski ball. And then you went and found the other parents and you started some shit. At Chuck E. Cheese. That was that was the <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese and the Secret Fight Club. And then, I don't know why. And then they went bankrupt. And we're like, oh no, what are we? What, well, that's, I guess that's where, over now. Where are we going to fight? Well, we got video. Here, here, we, where, where are they going to fight? Well, <sighs> they're going to fight Bath and Body Works. That's where. This, this is a video uh, from an Arizona Bath and Body Works. Fight involving multiple people erupted at a Bath and Body Works in Arizona involving customers and employees. According to a bystander, the incident happened over the weekend at a Scottsdale mall where two women were arguing before the ball broke out. Bystander shot footage claiming one of the women was standing too close to another customer. Led to verbal star sparring. It all started because white lady was standing too close to another customer. They started arguing. Employees decided tried to de-escalate, but the white lady wouldn't leave. And that's where the video picks up. Employees soon began tussling. And that's when the employees stopped trying to de-escalate. <laughs> <laughs> employees soon began tussling with the woman when other employees got involved and some other women who seemed to know the first woman. And, and we were at the point in the video where she's like, no, I, I, well, I want my purse. I have to get my, you can't make me leave. I have to get my purse. I'm like, what the fuck? We will toss your purse out the door at you. Another video of the incident shows uh, what happened. Oh, wait, no. Oh, gotta have to, I have to edit that a little bit. Whoops. Start playing other video that wasn't supposed to be there. Oh. Whoopsie doodle. I had a whoopsie doodle. But um, another video of the incident shows what happened before the fight. The woman is arguing back and forth with a black woman who calls the woman trailer park trash. Well, seems the white woman wasn't wearing a face mask which is suspected to have sparked the brawl. Look, it's we have these people here who are out looking to start shit over this to prove yeah. it's, it's I don't know what they're trying to prove. It's just like, you know, they're trying to stake out their fucking territory. They're like, you can't make me do this thing and I'm going to prove it to you. They're, they're toddlers throwing a fucking tantrum. Did you see an I, I was I think it was Idaho or Iowa. I think it was Iowa where they were burning a they had kids. Idaho. Burning Which, a barrel of the of the disposable masks. Do you know what those things are made of? Polyester. Um, like, yeah, gather the kids around. Let them breathe that shit in. What are you doing? Polyester is a synthetic thread. That That's plastic, essentially. And, like, they were pushing the kids closer to the Idaho. barrel. Yeah, it was Idaho. Why, why? It's like, do you not want the kids anymore? Is that the thing? I don't know. But, yeah, this has become, like... Uh, and pretty soon we're going to go back with like not many people wearing masks anymore. Although yeah. I tell you what, now that we've made it a little more socially acceptable next flu season, if I got to go out, I'm wearing a mask. Fuck you. It worked. We were down to, we had 1% uh, infant death from flu. I haven't year. even gotten a cold this year. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've barely left my house. But anyway, th th this is, uh, th this is just start this confrontational bullshit is this like were you this fucking bored and they think they look so fucking badass that's the part that kills me is like they think that they look like 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 madison cawthorn punching that tree what like the they fuck really think they're that? fucking doing something and you're like everybody is laughing at you do you not understand that you look like a child no they don't they they well if they did they wouldn't I mean, what's where we are? We're fucking. Anyway. Moving on to England. And this one is. This is. This is a kind of a classic sort of thing in our. Not, not what happened in the story, but this feels like, you know, the, the, the old times kind of story. This idiot. <laughs> Escape convict lands himself back in prison after coming out of hiding to buy a video game. Fugitive armed robber has landed himself back in prison after coming out of hiding to buy the new Call of Duty. Dude. 
Like that was that's right, Creed. That was really worth it to you. Escape convict Clint Butler assaulted two police officers and had to be restrained on the ground after he was stopped in Birmingham City Center. Yes, great. Um, body cam footage shows him kicking one officer in the groin, punching another in the face before being held down by the officer's security guard who came to help. Um, he escaped Spring Hill Open Prison last year while serving a 17-year sentence for crimes including robbery and firearm offenses. Since fleeing prison around midnight on uh, 20th of November, he's been classed as wanted by police. But it was the call of a new video game that lured Butler out of hiding, leading him to venture into the city center with a friend. Like, okay. you have a friend. Well, you could have just let him go by himself. Well, not just that. See, here's a thing that's happened. I don't know if everybody knows this, but it happened in the past 20 years. It's it's, it's really neat, a thing we worked out. You see, video games are computer programs. And they're data. And we have this whole big network now. I, I don't know if you've heard about this. It's called the Internet. I have. And I haven't it, tried it. And they're great big pipelines for data, you see. So what you could do is you could put the video game in the pipeline. And then it would come right to your house down the series of tubes. Yeah. And you wouldn't have to go anywhere. Or yeah. and someone else is in the channel is like, or, you know, you could have just ordered it online. They would have delivered right. it. <laughs> like, seriously. He was probably like, I can't order it online because I can't use my credit card. Yeah. <laughs> what well, you have a friend. You do. Just let the friend do it. And what's more, it's Call of Duty. It's not okay. Look, it's not like is this that is, game bad? That used to be a really popular game, right? It has always been a really popular. Every year, there's a new. Call of Duty, and it's the same fucking game oh. every fucking year. They just put in new maps and maybe a new gun. They add microtransactions, but every year it's, it's like Call a run around and shoot people game, right? Yup, it's Call Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. It's all one word. It's not even Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty. That, that's what it is. It's Call of Duty. Um, they are See, all... I see people abbreviated as COD. And because <sighs> I was born in the Mesozoic era, I hear cash on delivery. Because <laughs> that's a thing for, for the kids. You used to see commercials for products on television, and you could either call the 800 number back in the before times mm. when there wasn't the internet, and give them your credit card information. Or if you didn't feel secure doing that, you could pay the delivery person in cash when they deliver the item. So it was, C you know, yeah. credit card or COD. I cannot imagine risking prison for a new Call of Duty. Yeah. Like, fuck's sake. There's so many other things to play. Hey. So, there's so many other things to play and it, you could just play last year's Call of Duty it's still there it's the same fucking game you fucking idiot now you're going to prison you goddamn imbecile now you're going to prison for even longer <sighs> next up this is from Nashville oh bless bless these these uh, uh mug shots because damn they tell the whole story um, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Friend who doesn't cat crash into the back of your fucking car is better. DUI two for one. Drunk man crashes into drunk friend who crashed into a ditch who he was coming to help. This is a name. I, w I want you. To, I want you to take this name home with you and put it in. Put it under under your pillow for the name fairy. That's this name, Melville Arndt. 
30 and Natasha Nansel. Uh, so he's 29? Because <laughs> he aren't 30. Oh. We're both charged with DUI overnight when Natasha left the Fox Bar in East Nashville and crashed into a ditch. She called her friend, Melville, to come and assist. However, he struck her vehicle upon arrival. Both parties blew over double the legal blood alcohol limit. You gotta, if you're, if you're addicted <laughs> and your fucking wasted friend calls you for help, you gotta figure out a different solution. You can't be like, no, I got it. it's fine, I got it, it's gonna be fine. Before police arrived, she called her friend to assist her with her crashed vehicle. The friend, identified as Melville Arndt, was observed by police while at the scene. He admitted to striking Nansel's crash vehicles with his truck. He admitted to drinking, quote, two beers prior to driving. Why did you do that? I don't think two beers would give you double. No. No. The legal limit. Maybe if you were like two feet tall. Like I'm a fucking lightweight. <laughs> and I don't think at two beers I would be double the legal limit. That's uh that doesn't really seem uh, likely to me. Melville Art. Sorry, I just I love that fucking name. No, well, Melville aren't sober either. <laughs> just lo- the 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 mugshots are brilliant. They're like, well, here I, mean, I am. Her eyeliner looks great. It does. She, it's on point. But, you know, he's just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it oh just, well, Bill. I mean, of all the, if you like, if your friend calls you and you've had a few. Yeah. You call AAA at that point. You're like, all yeah, right. You just, you just got to figure some other shit out, man. Hold on. I'll call you a tow truck. Like, do you have another friend? I'll call you an Uber. If you don't trust the Uber, I'll have the Uber come get me, and then we'll come together. There I'll are come ways with around the Uber. this problem. Right. It's it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking it's like a fucking um bit out of Smokey and the Bandit. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh man, I crashed my car and I'm drunk. I need you to come get me. I'm drunk too. Like at that moment, I'm expecting after those two, like uh, just cars to keep slamming into the back of them. <laughs> like a clown car, like a 50 she drunk clowns pour like out. Harvey. I was thinking the same thing. Someone said she looks like PG Harvey, and that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, we have more uh, moving violation shenanigans. This one is. Dude's got places to be. Uh, I'm not sure what he thinks he's going to do when he gets there, but he's got places to be. Florida man speeds through crash site and tells deputies he, quote, has business at the Ritz. 24-year-old Nokomis man was arrested. That haircut. What? That haircut. Yeah. Got business at the Ritz with that haircut. That's the that that's a pandemic haircut if ever I did see one. Um, speeding through a barricaded crash scene, nearly hitting six deputies. Deputies were on scene of a serious crash involving a downed power line, uh, had traffic cones detouring traffic away from the site. Joshua Gockman driving a BMW, sporting one sock, boxers, and an undershirt. Came Usually ba- what I wear to business meetings at fancy hotels came barreling through the crash site, nearly hitting six six deputies and dragging a traffic cone under his car. All deputies said they had to jump out of the way of the car that was estimated to be driving at 100 miles per hour. He was pulled over at, uh, uh, Tommy, 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 it's Miami with Todd in front of it. Tommy, trail. We got out of his car and walked towards deputies aggressively. Deputies arrested the 24-year-old and found cocaine. A that rolled- person is 24? <laughs> yeah, that's a rough 24. Um, Don't do drugs. A rolled-up dollar bill, a marijuana grinder, and a hash oil vaporizer in his vehicle. Um, 
Deputies say the man was in the back of the patrol car before being escorted in the jail, where he started making sexually suggestive noises at a deputy. Responded sarcastically while being read his Miranda rights. Um, where was I going? I was going to the Ritz Carlton. You know, I was going to the Ritz Carlton. I have business to do. So somebody thought he was awesome. This is this is hurting my head. The last one. Deputies asked why the 24 year old ignored police lights. And uh, Gockman said he responded asking why the deputy spawned them. Spawned the police let spawn. It's not a video game. That's not how that it just. Oh my god. That's th do you, that's not how it works. Like I know Grand they, Theft Auto is not a LARP has kind of become a meme yeah. around here. But Grand Theft Auto is not a fucking LARP. You can't you can't spawn things in real life. And why is cracking at the cops isn't going to make them think you're cool. Just all of the shit. This dude. He picked that was his day. He picked this day. That was he was that day was all about him. And by God, by the end of the day, it sure the fuck was. That was his day. Oh, uh, I mean, if I want a me day, I usually just like get Starbucks and go shopping. <laughs> Buy some new fucking eyeshadow. Also, the rolled up dollar bill, really? Are we still doing that? That 80s I guess. bullshit? I guess so. Like, who even had one sock? What do you want from who the Who even man? has a dollar bill anymore? For fuck's sake. Like, like I, have, I have an aunt who's obsessed with the fact that I, I never have cash on me. She's convinced I'm going to die. So every time she sees me, she's like, you never have cash on you. So here's some cash. I have $40 <laughs> in my wallet that she gave me last March because I was on I was in New York for a funeral and I got the same speech you never have cash on you here's forty dollars that same exact forty dollars the same bills is still in my wallet yep yeah all right one more Florida and it's terrible this this is of course we we're, we got to go out on just there's another mugshot that tells the story holy shit Florida man accused of jumping naked on neighbor's trampoline before breaking into home. Oh. Lee Acres, Florida. Florida man is accused of jumping on a neighbor's trampoline while naked and later breaking into her home while still unclothed. All right, let's before we get into the meat of this one. <laughs> meat. Um there is one there are many things men shouldn't do. There well, I say there are many things people with penises shouldn't do. Many things. Many things in life if you have a penis, you should not do. One of them is jump on a trampoline naked. You are not designed for this. Okay? That does it does it get stuck or something? Have are you familiar with the helicopter dick? Yes. All right. So you have the dick going up and down, up and down, slapping into everything. Into itself, into the balls. <laughs> that doesn't sound, that sound bad. It does. It's just it's happy, slappy penis, just everywhere. <laughs> the mental image is pretty great, though. That's, that, <laughs> that's why if you're on a trampoline and you have a penis, underwear is kind of a prerequisite. It kind of is because that thing is just whippity whoppity whippity whip 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 whip. Oh, it's it's worse if it, Shadow Rush. It's worse if you're horny because then that thing that thing's gonna leave bruises. Because goddamn, um, I mean, they're not usually as flippity floppity when they're no, but they will slap around. Working. They will slap around. They will still slap around. Uh, Adrian Lee Gonzalez Bradway, wow, twenty one, was arrested Wednesday, charged with burglary and criminal mischief and property damage of more than two hundred dollars. No bail has been sent as it's set. According to the sheriff's office, Gonzalez Bradway showed up naked at his neighbor's home and began tapping on her door. The resident asked if she if he needed assistance. Wow, that's fucking generous. Naked, yeah, you're a really nice person. There's a naked dude banging on your door and you're like, oh, honey, are you OK? He did not respond. 
30 minutes later, the woman said she saw Gonzalez Bradway jumping on her family's trampoline while still naked. And the woman saw Gonzalez Bradway touching himself. Uh, she called 911. In the sheriff's office, Bradway ran up to the woman's door demanding entry. The woman refused. He smashed her kitchen window. The woman then gathered her children, niece and nephew, and locked herself in her vehicle. Police arrived and took him into custody. What was the plan? What what was yeah. this? What what happened? What 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 was what? How did how did that morning start? You, you woke up, you hit the alarm. Best part of waking up, all that shit, and then you're like, you know what? I don't even need pants today. I'm gonna go bounce on a trampoline and scare the shit out of somebody. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a minute to hear about our Lord and Savior, Dick? <laughs> No. I just, I... It's not saving anybody, Sparky. Put it away. And that mugshot, that mugshot is the I sobered the fuck up mugshot. Is what yeah, I'm that trying to make is. out what the face tat says, but I can't. It's too blurry. I can't either. He's got them all over. It's, it's, he's got, it's like, he's like at Joker level of face tats here. Come on. Um, but yeah, that that is the... Yeah, oh. I made a mistake. I don't know if you can hear the baby crying. Oh. Yeah, th that is that is I made him I made an error. <sighs> that is the you I got, made several. That's the well, here I am. I until I saw the part of the window, I really thought the property damage was gonna be jumping naked on a trampoline. <laughs> I have to have that cleaned now. I mean, I would pressure oh, wash it. J.M. Shear, he was feeling ballsy and was showing it. Like, there are many things you can do when naked, but penises and trampolines just don't go together. They never have. They, they never I have. was not aware of that. You don't want to be, I mean, this is why, it, okay, dance bell. Fucking dance. It's not just to keep people from seeing your dick. Okay. Cups are not just to keep people. It's because the thing just goes the fuck everywhere. It's it's See, like a, it's yet another advantage of the internal tackle. You know those 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 balls on a paddle, the whack 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 the bounce ball. It's like that. They just kind of it just kind of goes everywhere, but it's on a tether, so it comes back. <laughs> You, you, you don't get bouncing around is not that's just no why why would you why <laughs> and then you know when you're done jumping around you do a little violent breaking and entering what were you on what like, i'm you... sorry so one of my neighbors shows up at my door naked i'm not even i don't even answer the door normally like yeah i don't like answering the fucking door yeah if I'm not expecting somebody, I hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't stand in my bathroom until they go away. Nope, that's right. I, I, I don't know you. Because I'm like, we're in a panini. So if you're not the Amazon guy, you're someone I don't want to talk to. The, the, the first thing we learned tonight is... um. Trampolines and penises, not a good combination. Never a good combination. Underwear. Good to know. At the bare minimum, put on some boxers. If you're going to be bouncing around. Duct tape. <laughs> well, no, that presents other issues later. Is, have you ever tried to duct tape silly putty? This guy didn't seem like he was thinking about consequences, really. No. no he did. <laughs> um, we've learned that just because you think you need to be somewhere doesn't mean you get to do whatever the fuck you want to get there. But a lot of people think that, and I know that because I've worked at Starbucks. Um, we've learned that helping your friends is very important, but do it smart. Yeah. Because you gotta, you gotta, the help, help has to be actually be help. That's right, Loki. Um, yeah. We've learned that if, if 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 you can't go out for whatever reason, say a pandemic, say you're wanted by the authorities, um, 
friends. Friends are useful in that regard. Also delivery. Also friends. Also the internet. Also why yeah. the fucking Call of you Duty. Had a, you had a lot of options. A lot. Like, do uh, you know what? I'm trying to think of any video game that I would risk jail to play. And I don't know if there is one. But I do know if I had a list, Call of Duty wouldn't even be on it. Fucking Call of Duty. Um, I mean, I might... I might end up out buying cat food. Because I wouldn't let my cat suffer just for my freedom. We've learned just because Chuck E. Cheese is, is, is gone doesn't mean the spirit has faded. I'm going to feel bad if Bath and Body Works becomes the new brawl spot. Because As long as there is a retail, there will be grown adults gathering together and beating the living shit out of one another. For There's no a lot of smelly, breakable reason. shit in there. And and finally, we've learned um, you gotta you gotta grab them with a hook. Um, yeah, that's true. But uh, maybe don't go with the one that says misogyny. Yeah, on International Women's Day. Yeah, because. I don't, I don't know if you realize this, but... And also, if you're a company the size of Burger King and you're giving away two scholarships, just go fuck yourself. Just skip over the scholarships and go right to fucking yourself. But Tara, it's $50,000. $50,000. It's like a week's pay for the CEO of Burger King, probably. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200 right to fucking yourself. <laughs> So, so he doesn't get to have it his way, huh? 